So, I just had a moment. I was um, sitting here watching Showbiz Tonight. I'm a big um, headline news watcher. And I don't really like this show just because I don't really care too much about celebrity gossip. But they were doing um, a little tidbit on the fact that Kevin Federline got fat. He didn't look that fat to me, but um, as someone who is still fat and was much fatter, I have these moments where you see somebody that you knew was cruel to you in the past and they got fat. They were cruel to you about something that, for me, I mean, and for a lot of you that suffer from obesity, it's not exactly in control. There's a difference in being heavy set pretty much your whole life and then just letting yourself go. Some people are a combination of both. Some people you know, had health issues that came into it, but you ever have that one person where you kind of just wish that they'd get fat? Or that you were kind of relieved when you saw that they did? Because I've had those moments, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it was kind of, it just happened to me recently. Um, I saw somebody and I was like, hmm, how's that feel? I could have easily poked fun at them like I was back in school, but, um, you know, it's not really worth it that much. Excuse me, my hair is curly today. This is what, <laughs> now this is what I get ridiculed over. People are making fun of my hair. Um... I just, I think it's kind of silly that people are making fun of him because he's fat, not the fact that he's just kind of ridiculous in general, at least in my opinion. But he's going to be joining Celebrity Fit Club. Which, have you guys ever watched that? I used to watch it all the time, and I wasn't really inspired. Not like I am when I watch like Biggest Loser and stuff like that, but... I just kind of was like, what? Like, they're not doing anything. They're eating a bunch of, uh, oh, what are those meals ca called that, I don't know. But it just doesn't seem like a very, for some people, they lose all sorts of weight. Um, Bam Margera's dad lost lots of weight, but I think he put a lot of it back on, um, it's a never-ending cycle, and some of these celebrities think that they can just take an easy way out, and they think it's going to stick around forever, but it's not, um, not if they don't commit to it. That's why I'm glad that I've, um, done what I've done. Never been happier than I am right now. This is a very rambly video. I just found that funny, and I thought, I'm... I mean, literally, as I was sitting right here, I was like, I have to make a video. Excuse me. Because I just think that that was kind of ridiculous that that's what they're focusing on. Not the fact that the guy is a little off. Um, had some friends over this evening for dinner. We don't usually have friends over, because just in general, I don't like a lot of people. Um, it's not that I don't like people. I shouldn't say that. I'm just not very social. I have a hard time trusting people, which is kind of ironic because I'm on here spreading my business to the world, um, about a very personal subject. Um, I've just realized with friends in the past, I can't really trust a lot of people because I'm pretty much a human doormat. Um, I've decided not to be that way anymore. Um this friend of mine is the friend that I've mentioned that I'm working out with. I was friends with her husband years ago, and now we get along 
great, all four of us. He gets along with my husband real well. Our kids get along. So it's been very positive for me lately. So I'm really surrounding myself with what I need. It comes, I was watching um, a certain doctor that some people think is a quack, but I love him and I watch him every single day around 10 o'clock. <laughs> and he said that you should, if you care so much about your children, you should do the best to make sure that their mother stays alive for as long as possible. That was perfect. That was exactly what I needed. So if you love your kids so much and you say that you don't have time to work out because you're trying to take care of your kids or that you're trying to keep up with everything else because you want them to have this great life, how great is their life going to be if you're not in it? Same thing for dads, you know. And the same thing for people who don't have kids yet and you plan on having kids, you know. Why would you want to waste that time, you know, making sure that they're so happy if you're not going to be in it? They're happy with you. You know, yeah, toys are great. DVDs are wonderful. But I know that my little precious baby in there that I can hear snoring right now, I know that he wouldn't be as happy if I wasn't there. If Some people are going to say that that's arrogant. But I know for a fact that my baby's happy because I'm in his life. And the same thing with your husbands or your wives. If you love them so much and you're too busy working on everything else, you need to make sure that you take the time for yourself. That's why every evening after dinner, I drop what I'm doing and I exercise. I walk and walk or jog or, you know, just do something to be active because I need to know that that time that I'm being active is helping me for later time so that I have that later time. They've just recently said that, um, and I'm sure it's not just recent, I've just recently heard that um, having weight loss drastic and making sure that you're getting into a healthy weight range cuts women's chances of having cancer down by like 60%. That's amazing. I mean, 60%. It's wonderful. And, you know, just to know that I'm doing that now instead of later, taking a proactive decision to make things better now, there's no greater time than now. So if you're on the fence and you're wondering what you should do, whether it should be surgery or some other form of weight loss, either way, the time is now to make the decision. You can't second guess yourself. You can't just sit around and wait for someone to tell you the answer because no one's going to be able to tell you the answer. No one was able to tell me. I had to decide it for myself. Granted, I talked to a few people about it and asked their opinion, but I had to make that decision myself. So, that's my little soapbox moment. As far as wishing that other people got fat, I don't do that. Am I kind of relieved when I see the people that used to ridicule me, how they put on a few LBs, sometimes I am. That's maybe the little mean guy on my shoulder that tells me that I should be happy with that. Am I happy that their bodies are in bad conditions? No. Am I happy that they're getting to walk a little, a little in my shoes? Absolutely. There's a difference in being fat and being thin. In my mind, I honestly think that I will always be a fat girl, no matter how small I get, because I've lived it for more of my life than I've lived skinny. I'm not even skinny yet, so sometimes it's nice to know that people that made fun of you walk in your shoes. You guys have a good night. I'm going to bed.